it's a pleasure to have you guys all here at Oakland Park. I'm thrilled that we have some nice weather and seeing a great turnout. We will uh, get things started here with a couple of songs that are going to be performed by Accent Pontiac. So if everybody wants to turn their attention to the kids behind me uh, with their instruments, we're going to go ahead and let them have the stage for a little bit and play a couple songs for us, and then we'll get started.
Well, good afternoon, Pontiac! This is a really, really exciting day. It's the culmination of a lot of hard work and the generosity of so many partners who really made today happen. And I just want to say that the City Council and I have made it a key priority to invest in our parks, to invest in youth recreation in our community, and perhaps nothing symbolizes that commitment better than the beautiful new shining skate park behind us. So let's give a round of applause to everybody who has made this day possible. And I want to thank a, a few individuals specifically. I want to first of all really thank and honor Roberto Rodriguez because he was an advocate for this project. He was very involved in the skateboarding community here in the city. We're honored to have his family here with us, but this is just such an appropriate and touching way to pay tribute to his legacy of advocacy here in the city of Pontiac. But we also want to thank so many others who were instrumental in making this happen. The skate park project was so incredibly generous and they are investing in disadvantaged communities across the country. Oakland County was so key in terms of their generosity and I want to give special thanks to our own County Commissioner Angela Powell but also County Commissioner William Miller who was a champion of this project from day one. I want to thank McLaren Hospital which very generously gave tens of thousands of dollars and I also want to thank Mary Jane and the incredible large network of people who gave individually out of their own pockets. Fate is shining down on us today with this break in the rainy weather and this beautiful day. But we are thrilled about this investment right here in Oakland Park. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention that immediately behind on the other side of the skate park, where the derelict school building now stands is going to be the future home of the new Pontiac Youth Recreation Center as well. <laughs> the school building will be demolished in the next two or three months. We have initiated the design process. We encourage everyone to come out and join us for some public listening sessions. Those are going to be May 6th at 6 p.m in the city council chamber, so that's just three days from now, this coming Monday at 6 p.m. in city council chambers. We're having another listening session on May 30th at 6 p.m. and another one on June 20th at 6 p.m. So please join us and let your voices be heard about what amenities you want to see in that new youth recreation center. And again, and most importantly, thank you for being here today. Thank you to everyone whose investment and generosity and hard work made this investment and this new amenity possible. Thank you and God bless you, Pontiac. Give up for Pontiac's Mayor Tim Bramble, ladies and gentlemen. And we know this will be an amenity that is a regional draw, not just a residence for Pontiac, although well, that'll be a primary population that gets the benefit and joy. Uh, but I want to acknowledge that some of our neighbors, the mayors of Sylvan Lake and Kego Harbor are also with us demonstrating that this will bring uh, youth and community members um, from our surrounding neighborhoods as well. I want to acknowledge our state representative, the Honorable Brenda Carter, fighting for us in the state legislature in Atlanta City. And now I'd like to welcome to the podium, he was name checked before, but a big driver for county funding for this project. Please welcome Oakland County Commissioner William Miller. So this is our champion for our office, 
super, I could not have done this without, is my opinion. Super excited to be here. Um, in 2018, we partnered with the Ralph C. Wilson Jr. Foundation to develop a program called Built to Play, 
which is a program that's throughout Southeast Michigan and West New York. And the goal was to do 20 skate parks um, in five years. Um, we're almost there. Um, COVID put a dent in things, but we gave $300,000 to 20 skate parks, and the Pontiac Skate Park uh, was one of them. And so we're super stoked to be here um, to offer our assistance even beyond the opening of the skate park um, through programming. But we also we have a program called Supply the Ride, and we were able to send 100 complete skateboards and helmets um, to give away to kids who can't afford skateboards or don't have a skateboard and want one. So, too long because Mary Jane went so long. No, I'm Sorry. Um, by the way, Mary Jane and Mike were like key to making this happen. And you know, what we do is we come out and we don't dictate anything that happens at the skate parks. We support the community members because the neighborhoods and the communities know what they want and know what they need. And we just support as much as we can with technical assistance and funding. Someone asked me a little while ago, like, oh, what do you think of the skate park? Do you think it's a good skate park? My response was, well, it was it was designed by input from the community, from the young people, and if they like it, then we like it. So congratulations on your new skate park. Can't wait to help cut the ribbon. And if you have any questions about developing a public skate park in your area, just come and talk to me. Or another one here. All right, have a round of applause for Trevor Staples and the entities. Pontiac. He mentioned that there were other skate parks around the country, but I would dare say this is the best ribbon cutting and opening of any skate park in the land. I want to quickly make sure we don't let the opportunity pass. If you have work for the city of Pontiac, if you are an employee that works in parks, in any of the departments of the city of Pontiac, can you please raise your hand, stand up, be acknowledged that you are part of the team of Pontiac neighbors working to deliver progress in this and other services in our city. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've heard from philanthropic supporters. Let's also hear from the corporate community, one of the large uh, corporations that are in our city. Uh, we want to hear from the president and CEO of McLaren Oakland Hospital. That president and CEO, Tracy Tamovich, they were a key supporter of this project. Please welcome their president and CEO. I really didn't know what to expect when I was coming here for a skate park opening, and I'm wow. I'm absolutely wow. This is amazing. Um, before I go into uh, McLaren, I just want to share that the skate park is near and dear to me. I have a 25-year-old son, and he was really into skating, and so I spent many a day at the skate park, and it was fantastic. And some of the friends that he made at the skate park are his best friends now. So. Please encourage your kids to come out, your grandkids, your neighbors, to come out and enjoy the park because it's fabulous. And I agree, I think it might be one of the best parks around. <laughs> I really just wanted to say thank you. Um, thank you for allowing McLaren to partner with the city of Pontiac on such an amazing initiative. This is really important for us, and what all of you should expect from your healthcare partner is that we should be helping our communities. And if we're not, knock on my door because we want to do that. So we were honored that we were asked to do this. We were proud that we were asked to do it, and we're very happy. So keep the ask coming. We want to continue to support Pontiac, and hopefully you'll see great things from McLaren Oakland. Um, we want to be out and engaged with all of you. So thank you. Have a great day, and enjoy this beautiful event. Thank you, President Danovich. Now we will hear from the Girls Friendly Society. Representing them is Chris. Ventros Cannon. Please give it up for Chris. In spirit, hooray for Chris and the Girls Friendly Society. Uh, I want to uh, take a moment and say just how beautiful this park looks, being fully used and, and with the, the community together. This is an amazing day. But I hope you can take in the natural beauty of the, the grand and stately oaks and other trees that give our county its name, this park its name. Where you're standing, presidents of the United States have been. President John F. Kennedy has been in this park to speak to Pontiac President Harry S. Truman, 
Uh, this is the crossroads of not only our community and our state, but also the nation. So please hold your head up high as we keep making further improvements, because as beautiful and great as this is, I still see other areas where we can keep making it better and stronger for you. Together we can make that happen. All right, so to keep the party going, let's give it up for the Pontiac Skate Park Project, Rolando Ibarra! Not quite as tall. I feel you. I feel you. Thank you. Uh, I don't really know what to say too much. Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to my students behind me, XM Pontiac, and my coworkers who provided me with some music. Uh, I want to thank uh, Grindline and the workers, and specifically the, the Pontiac workers who came in and put hours and hours and hours of their labor making this park. Um, I want to give them a round of applause. Thank you. Um, man, I, I grew up in this park. I grew up right over on Nelson Street, and this was where a lot of my earliest memories uh, took place. Learning how to run, learning how to ride a bike. Uh, there used to be a big rocket, like right here, and uh, I call it Rocket Park. I want, always want to go to Rocket Park. And at the time, my mom had a, a daycare center, but I didn't know that. I just thought that my cousins came and played with us every single day. And so Tony and Berto, they're, they're my brothers just as much as my blood brother, you know. And uh, Berto, I always uh, acknowledge him as uh, someone who taught me how to teach. He was, he was very excited to have somebody younger than him around in the family and to teach them. And, you know, he was always wanting to show me stuff, whether it be... Potty training, you know, my mom always says I was potty trained at an early age because Berto was so excited to teach me. Uh, whether it was running or climbing or learning how to ride a bike, you know, I didn't learn a bike or how to ride a bike till I was like 10 years old, but that didn't stop Berto from trying. Every single time, you know, he would want to show me what to do. And when it came on to skateboarding, he showed me how to do that as well. And he showed me what it meant to be a skateboarder in your community. Um, I always talk about when I was maybe like 13 or something, I saw Beto and we were out and he had just gotten a fresh box from, I think, Detroit City Skateboards, and he was opening the box and he was giving out skateboards and he was giving out wheels, and I'm like, man, why are you giving away all this stuff? It's brand new. And he was like, because I got it, and skateboarding is about skateboarding with your friends. So if my friends don't got it, I'm gonna make sure that they got it too so that we can all skate together. And that is how I've always looked at skateboarding. That's how I've always looked at community work. So I wanna make sure I acknowledge the people who have been around me, pushing me in this whole way, Mary Jane and Mike Pena, who've been supporting me through this. Um, since September, when we decided we were gonna uh, try to put forth the name, it's, it's, been, it's been really difficult and long process, but anybody who's worked with the city government knows that. Um, look away, Mike. <laughs> but I just wanna thank the people who have supported us. Tony, who came out to a couple meetings and spoke with me. My brother, who came out to a couple meetings, and Mike as well as well as uh, Tony Rodriguez Sr. and my dad who came out and supported us uh, during the final vote. Y'all support means a lot to me um, and I just want to thank you all for coming out and supporting us. Uh, we still have one more speaker left, so if it's a, can I introduce? Okay, so right now coming up we have the family of Roberto Duran Rodriguez, his brother Tony Rodriguez Jr. as well as his wife Liz and his children are going to come up, so come on up. I gave him his first skateboard. I started skateboarding in sixth grade. He 
and he was better than me and within the first week and I, I quit after that. And I know I can just hear him in my ear right now and say, man, get your ass up there and try one trick and I'm not going to do that to myself. Um, I remember my pops used to make us all these skate ramps in the driveway. We would have all the neighborhood kids, you know, at our house having skate competitions and to have a skate park named after him, man, he would, it's incredible. What, a, what an honor. It's a dream come true. I just appreciate all you guys, all the family, all the support. I wish, I know he's looking down and you know, we can see everyone that cared about him. Um, thank you guys for everything and I love all of you and I appreciate you being here. Now. Three, two, one! 